Hello everyone and welcome to RTFI Pro. My name is George Jakes and today's topic that we will be discussing is cassetteless digital radiography. Digital radiography can be divided into two categories, such as direct and indirect, whereas indirect radiography can be further subdivided into thin flat panel transistors known as TFTs or charge coupled devices. Indirect radiography. Indirect TFT systems are composed of three main layers, the top, scintillation layer, middle, photodiode layer, and the bottom, thin film transistor. Scintillation layer. The top scintillation layer is the layer where x-ray photons are converted into light photons. This process is called scintillation as it produces a burst of light. Each photon that strikes the scintillation layer creates a burst of light in all directions. The distribution of light in all directions, known as isotropic diffusion, does have a negative impact as it decreases the spatial resolution because the size of the converted light photons are larger in size than the incoming X-ray photons, which result in a small definition loss within the image. The scintillation layer is composed of cesium iodine or gadolinium. Cesium iodide is preferred over gadolinium because it is composed of small rods that can be formed into a smaller and focused light beam, which results in increased spatial resolution. Photodiode layer. The photodiode layer is composed of amorphous silica which converts light photons into electric charge. The electric signal is then transferred to the thin flat panel transistor or TFT. Thin flat panel transistors. The thin flat panel transistors is composed of an array or matrix of small detector elements known as DELs. Each DEL is composed of a pixel element which is an active element within the DELs. A storage capacitor stores the electric charge produced by the captured element in a switch which releases electrical charge in binary numbers such as 010101 which acts as opening or closing the release of the electric charge leaving each DEL which produces the image on your monitor. Fill factor is the percentage of the pixel in a radiograph image receptor that is sensitive to x-ray beams and allows conversion of the incident x-ray beam to light. In other words, how much of that pixel can we use? For instance, in the pixel image, the area that has less gray will have a higher fill factor as compared to the area where there is more gray, which means having a lower fill factor. Also within the image shown, the thinner area will have a high fill factor compared to the thicker area. Remember, a higher fill factor will have greater spatial resolution. The second type of indirect system is charge coupled devices. Charge coupled device systems differ from TFT as there is no photodiode or TFT layer. The scintillation layer is optically coupled to each charge coupled device sensor by either lenses or fiber optics. The charge coupled device are able to convert light photons into electric signals and send the electric signals or binary image 
to the computer for digital processing to create the image. Direct radiography. Direct radiography, also known as non-scintillation, is composed of amorphous selenium-based semiconductor and TFT. This system works by applying a high voltage charge at the top of the surface in nanoseconds just before the X-ray exposure interaction between the high voltage charge and photons which causes the selenium atoms to release their electrons which are then collected and processed by the TFT layer. In summary, indirect radiography uses a scintillator to convert x-rays into light first and a photon detector converts light into electrons. This method uses amorphous silicone. Direct radiography does not use scintillators as x-ray photons are directly converted into electrons. This method uses amorphous selenium. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, work safe and expand your knowledge for an increased reliability of inspection.